It was a two week furniture flip and I'm going to show you how I did it. My name is Jamela. Thank you again for tuning in for another episode of Living the Lifestyle of the Thrift and Famous. And of course, we all love an easy restoration project. So I did that with this Art Deco cabinet that I found for about $25 at an auction. Art Deco is my favorite era of furniture. And when I bought this, I had no place to put it. So naturally, my mother said, well, you can always bring it to my house. And I did. Now I got it so cheap because it really did need some TLC, but over the years my mother just had it styled in her dining room and she just put a scarf on top of it. So it was just no big deal to her. She used it as storage to be honest with you. So I did some research and I found out that these three products are really good to use on wood re restoration. So I figured I'd get all three because I didn't know which one would work best. The first thing I had to tackle was clearing it out and also I washed it down with some Murphy's oil soap. Then I applied some wood filler into the little seam, the little cracks there in the front around the edge to see how that would work. Because again, I was not trying to sand it down completely and take the veneer off. I just wanted to kind of give it a little bit more beauty. And after the wood filler dried, I just gave it a light sand and I kept doing that. I did that three times to uh, try to smooth out the edges. And then after that, I applied some of the Restore a Finish oil on it. And then I want to tackle to clean the uh, brass handles and I just used Barkeeper's Friend on those and it brought the shine back to those beautiful, beautiful knobs. After applying the Restore Finish over the entire uh, cabinet, then I followed up with the Tungy Oil and that is what gave it this beautiful shine. Now the bottom, it really had a lot of cracks in the wood, so I decided to just paint that. So after about a week and a half of going back and forth and reapplying the oil and the restore finish, I, after each one I would let it dry a day and let it soak it because the wood was so dry, I kept reapplying it so it can sink into the wood. And this piece looked beautiful afterwards. I actually followed up with the beeswax oil and that is was the finishing touch that it needed. So I applied the Tungy oil about twice and the restore finish twice. But in between each one, I would let it sit for a day and dry and let it soak up the oil. In dealing with this wood furniture, you see that all it needed was just some oiling and constant oiling so it could actually penetrate the natural grains of the wood. And with this tone of wood, I just chose to go with a navy blue to paint on the bottom and also right around the edge where I just could not get the um the trim right so i just gave it a nice little thin coat of the blue around that edge just try just to try to camouflage the flaws and where the waterfall effect goes and all in all it doesn't look bad but it actually added another little pop of color onto the piece without painting the entire piece uh, that was not an option for me and i love how the gold handles look on with the fresh wood tones and the whole piece is now just a nice shining glory and I'm so glad I did this project while my mother was still with us so she even got to see it and smiled and said oh that looks really nice and there you have it my two-week furniture flip I hope you enjoyed this video if so drop me a comment don't forget to like and share this video and also please subscribe to my channel thank you again for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video bye